All right, guys, we are here at Baby Audio's booth, and we're talking to David, hello, and hello. they have they have something very special in store for us. David, yes. take it away. Yes, yeah, so we have this very new synthesizer coming out. As a lot of people know, one of our most popular synthesizers is the BA-1, but this will be coming out in a little under two weeks. It's a physical modeling synthesizer, and essentially what's going on under the hood, it's a, a, a network of interconnected mass springs, and the way that the sound is being made is that a, bow, a virtual bow is being played on that network. So it's, it's, it's really awesome stuff, groundbreaking stuff for us, absolutely. Um, if we look at, you know, kind of like the, the, the interface, the, what's going on here, it's super simple. Just like all Baby Audio products, right? Um, they use cool words like chaos, force, simple words that us producers or engineers use, like just to create, uh, describe a sound that we like, you know, oh, we want something sparkly or things like that. They really understand us. Um, so it's very simple. You don't have a whole lot of parameters, but all these parameters here, essentially what they do is really change, uh, kind of affect the relationship of that virtual boat on those mass springs, which is really neat. Um, so chaos will, you know, create some nonlinear effects like uh, pitch gliding, detuning, force will, you know, change the force of the boat on, the, on that mass spring network, which essentially like, creates screechiness. If you really drive it, you know, obviously that can create some detuning as well. Well, you also get that. You got drive, some overdrive, harmonic clipping, really nice stuff, sounds super good. Um, order is almost like a low pass filter, but it doesn't essentially eliminate all high frequencies. It's a, like a, high, they call it a high frequency damper. So you're just damping the high frequencies, which is really nice. Um, we got overtones, so you drive it up more about in the, the higher values, you get like sharper overtones, very nice stuff. It sounds super rich very clean um, and you also have your low pass filter with some uh, high re with some resonance built in which is cool so it's cool when you play something you kind of see what's going on there's like a little representation of what's going on under the hood it's really nice to look at obviously baby audio makes some really um, really appealing and aesthetically pleasing plugins I think we can all, ag all agree on that um, and what's cool uh, after this what we have under here it's not something that will completely change the parameters. The parameters will stay the same, but this will kind of affect like the characteristic of the sound, the style of sound. Um, and one way by doing that is essentially by changing the profile down here. So we have four modes in the profiles. We got standard. We have inharmonic. I like that one a lot. That one's nice. We also have alternative. And we have lo-fi. That's one of my favorites, right there. Inharmonic and lo-fi are some of my favorites. And then, obviously, we have our tack, you know, to shape our envelope, really neat stuff, basic stuff, release as well. Um, that controls the damping in the mass spring network. But we also have movement. We have movement, and what's cool about movement, also modulation and vibrato, they all work the same way in the sense of how you control it. So, you control it on the left side, it's like, Movement, for example, you control the depth of the movement on the left side. And then on the right side, we control the speed. So you can see the frequency ray right there. Kind of gets slower when we bring it down, right, to a lower frequency. And what's cool about movement, modulation, and vibrato is you can sync them to the tempo of your, of your track, right, your host tempo, which is really neat. Um, Another last thing that we have down here is the space. It's a, so it's a reverb within the plugin, but it's nothing crazy. Um, if you have it zeroed out, it's basically like an XY joystick control, kind of like uh, their plugin spaced out. It's also like that, where the X on this and here at least, the X axis is going to be the dry and wetness, and then the Y axis is going to be the space. So if you're down lower, it's a smaller space. If you're up higher, it's a larger space. So right now, essentially no reverb going down. Once we bring it all the way 100, 100, it's really large space, really long reverb, right? Really wet, which is really nice. Um, and it's cool because you can also change the root and transpose the root octave within the plugin here. So we're right here. I just change it in the plugin. Now we go up. How do people say it? It's all up from here now, right? <laughs> um, and one last thing, and uh, within the parameters as well, 
is that we can actually introduce motion to these parameters with um, automation, onboard automation. So we can do that with using automation, using a sine wave, a sawtooth wave, so you can see kind of what's going on. We're creating motion within the, uh, with the parameter now, which is really nice. And you can also um, sync this motion to your tempo, just like you can do down here with the modulation and, uh, and the movement. And so, obviously we got the sign, uh, sign motion going on right now. I can make it super aggressive. Super cool stuff. What's also cool is you can invert that as well, and you'll see it invert right now. I was going backwards. Really cool stuff, right? Sounds like almost like Jurassic Park type stuff right here, right? We started off with something completely different. Now it sounds like some dinosaurs. Um, we also have your LFOs. We have the free and re-trigger, and also the hold, which is really nice, super neat. So those are the only sub menus, but they're also available for each parameter. So there's not a lot going on, but it's it's not complex, but it allows you to really just like start turning knobs and and create a sound and, and start uh, designing a sound, which is really nice. It's a it's a great introduction also to people who who want to get into sound design, but you know they're kind of intimidated by all these crazy synthesizers with all these layers and wavetables. This is really easy and, and, and easy to get a, a grasp of. Um, Aside from that, you can uh, select these settings and also copy them to other parameters. So let's try this. I'm going to copy this setting right here to another parameter by the simple clip of grabbing this right here, the click and drag icon, and bringing it down here. And now we can also mess with that as well. It's also inverted just like that one is, which is really neat, right? Um, we also have uh, aftertouch as well. Uh, unfortunately, my keyboard does not have aftertouch, so I cannot demonstrate that. I apologize. Uh, right next to that, we have uh, we can toggle between uh, monophonic and polyphonic, which is also super neat. Um, we have uh, adjustment as well right here with our our, our, our tone, so we can um, adjust the tuning and sense right here, right? Plus or minus 50. Really neat. We have eco mode, we make it a little bit uh, CPU le less CPU intensive, but it also just um, it will also disable the chaos. So that's one that's one thing that I really like as well. Let me turn this off. And then, like any other Baby Audio plugin, you can change the color of the skin. That's always nice, right? If you're in the dark, you don't want a super bright skin. You can just go boom real quick, right? And I think that's, I don't, I don't know a lot of plugins that do that, with, and it's super nice that Baby Audio really does that. Um, I just got hooked up with uh, the update with, of, of the plugin, so now we have presets available to us as well. And these presets are essentially um, presets that were created with other, uh, with collaborators. And that's something that Baby Audio does well with all their plugins. All their presets are really like made for users because they were created with with, with uh, music producers, you know, engineers, mixers. So all this stuff is ready for us to use, essentially. However, if you find a, pa if you find a preset you like, but it's like, oh, you know what? I think I want to shift it a little bit. I think I want to do something else with it. I think I want more chaos. I can go ahead and do that, right? So essentially, it's like I'm collaborating with the collaborator and making their sound my own, you know, which is really nice. And yeah, they just, they just, I think they, everything is very well thought out. Like other plugins, you can randomize with the dice. You can lock the parameters that you don't want to randomize. So that one is locked and now it's not randomizing. And if I have a preset that I like, that I, say I click a preset, and I slightly want to change the parameters, I can go ahead and recycle this preset so it slightly changes the parameters and you'll see. So it doesn't completely change the sound, but it just kind of like warps it a little bit, right? Uh, makes it a little bit different, but it's still the essence is still there of that of that preset. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Adams, and uh, it'll be ready on our with our friends Sonisto uh, apps, and it'll be ready on February seventh. And that's that. Yeah, it's great stuff. I'm excited. Everybody that's seen it so far is super excited. Um, one of their it's. There's going to be the second synthesizer, but it's going to be 
uh, price, it's the same uh, price as BA1, it's going to be $99, so it's going to be very, uh, very accessible for everybody. Nice. And ready to Thank use. you so much, David. Absolutely. Do you my know pleasure. if there's going to be an introduction offer? There, yeah, there's going to be an intro version. It's going to be $59. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. nice. Looks amazing. Thank I'm you glad. so much. Absolutely. Thank you my so pleasure. much. My pleasure. I'm looking forward to this one yeah. for sure. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you. Feel free to play with it. <laughs>